Good morning everyone. This is Jackie with Paper Cuts. And as my previous videos, I am trying to finish up some journals that I started and never completed. So today we're going to put some ephemera in this traveler's notebook. And it's good size tall wise. It's not very big width wise. <clears throat> it measures four and a quarter by ten and a half. So it's a little bit bigger than the standard traveler's notebook. I used a, a printable kit that was mushrooms, but my I don't know if you can see my printer was starting to run low on ink so it's a little washed but I loved the look so I put a little mushroom here on the front and then tucked a tag in it uh, it doesn't come out it's permanent and then I put a little Tim Holtz uh, plate here that and stamped inside see the world and then I took this it's nubby, uh, yarn-like, and sewed it around the edge all the way front and back. The binding has some washi tape that says beautiful. And then I did a different kind of closure. I saw a woman on YouTube, and I don't remember because I think I started this over a year ago and never finished it and she bratted, extended the closure, and then tucked ribbon in it, and so it ties. And on the inside, I just put this coffee dyed graph paper, one of the kit printables and then uh, this beautiful burgundy gold uh, tapestry like ribbon on the edge and then I put a book page that's about wasps in it coffee dyed paper and the edges are torn on this one I thought I'd try some of uh, Girl on the Ridge Lori Fusco's technique and uh, I'm not as good as she is but you know trying new things is always good and then I just sewed this it's kind of like uh, the lily of the valley that's in the paper and it's uh, I don't know if you can see it yeah uh, it's an embroidered lace trim and I sewed it all the way through and then I put some uh, it's not vellum it's tracing paper and then made a little tuck spot down below some music paper and then an Edith Holden book page um, I got just a few and this is the June 24th 25th 28th and 30th and then on this side I did a little lace pocket and put a tag in it. So we're going to take the tag out so we can put some ribbon or something on it. And then we'll put it back in. And then another one of the mushroom pages. And then I did this as a tuck spot so we'll get something to put in there. More music paper. Then I did another pocket over here. It's getting better all the time. And there's another tag in it. <coughs> Excuse me this morning. And then I did like the little uh, pocket edge or file folder edge. And it's on some coffee dyed paper. Sewed around it. The other side of the wasp page. It's a book page. Then I put this little doily tuck. It's made out of paper. Um, you can, I had a book um, 
And so I just put it on the side and I'm going to make a paper clip holder. Here's more of the Lily of the Valley on some music paper. <coughs> Got a tickle this morning. I guess I better drink some coffee. I hope you are all doing well. I've been trying to get some things done, so let's keep going in the book. <coughs> there we go. <clears throat> got the frog. Okay, and it's got some writing on it. Then there's some craft paper. The other side of the mushroom paper. And then I folded it over, but I folded it crooked, so... Let's just refold this now and get it straight. There we go. And then that'll be a tuck. The rest of the wasp paper. Uh, it's a book page, sorry. Copy dyed paper. And then in the very middle of the signature, I put this vellum bag and then I put a tag in it which is a notepad however I want to make a different journaling card for in here that fits a little bit better and up at the top it says this magic moment the wasp paper another I just took some brown ribbon and sewed it down the edge of the collage kit, mushroom kit, craft paper, the back side of the collage paper, music, coffee dye, book page, and then here I found in a magazine the reasons to love mushrooms. And so I just glued it to some coffee dyed and distressed inked paper and then did a little collage down here that says, Dear You, Thanks for Everything. <coughs> Excuse me. And it tells you all about mushrooms and how to grow them and uh planting them and cooking them and all of that good stuff. So it's just a little fold out that tucks in this mushroom. And down here, well, I put it in backwards, sorry. And then back side of coffee paper, the music page, there's another pocket here that I made with uh, the kit paper and then another tag, so I'm going to take that out. Here's another little tuck spot that I did with flour cut out from the kit and um, a little like cut out flour cut out from some lace. The other side of the Edith Holden paper, and it's got dragonflies on it. Another tuck spot from the kit. Another tag from the kit. Here's the other side of the little pocket there. And then I made a belly band with that lace that I cut out the flower from. So you can take a tag. I think this little guy looks cute in here. So I might put that in there. But it's not so down at the bottom. <coughs> so you could put a larger tag in. Let's see if this one, yeah. See, goes all the way through. So we'll make something for the belly band. Back side, coffee dyed paper wasp book and the back side of the mushroom paper and then the inside of the back cover. So that's the book we're going to 
be completing. So what I'm going to do first is get my tags and eat them up. I did have some other embellishments from the kit and this is a pocket and this is what it looked like. Uh, so I'm going to put these two pockets in. Uh, I did score the sides but it needs to be inked up and all of that. So let's see, we've got these four tags and we need to ink around them and I think uh, I want to put some coffee dye paper or something on the back uh, just to make them a little stiffer. I coffee dyed all of these um, index cards and um, I probably should have ironed them but I thought if I glue those down and then cut around, it would work pretty good. So let's get started. If you can hear the dishwashers going behind me, I apologize for the noise. It gets kind of loud and I... Uh, kind of interferes. Wow, I really put some glue on the edges there. Wanted to make sure it stuck down. Probably should get a wet wipe. So it's Friday morning and I and finishing some furniture painting so I went out to the garage and did that first then I needed to take some pictures for my landlord and then I had to run an errand so I apologize that this is getting uploaded so late now this big one, I don't think it's going to fit on this index card. Let's see. This one will all the way up to there, but... So let's try not to put as much glue on this time, right? got a friend that's revealing her secret tonight or today sometime. She uh, and her son and daughter are starting a new adventure and she's going to be posting on Facebook but She's already revealed to me what she's doing, so I know before a lot of other people do. Her family knows what she's doing, but the rest of her friends are in the dark until she reveals it tonight, so I'm excited for her new adventure. All right, so that's the second one. Now this one, let's see if I have a big enough page of something to put on the back side of it. I've got envelopes. Here we go. Here's some coffee dyed paper. Just a little short, but it'll work. I 
still haven't got the Remnants, Reminis journal posted on Etsy yet because I still have yet to find my eyelets and my tool. So long story short, I'll be digging in the garage again today. I uh, packed a lot of my crafting stuff up, so it makes it hard. It's going to roll a little bit, but anyway. Alright, so let's start with this one. And then I'm just going to trim it up. And then we'll ink around the edges. And I do think I want to corner around the bottom on all the tags because they just seem to slide in better to your journal pockets or whatever. That's a loud bang. Get these out of the way. Okay, so that one's ready to ink. Now let's get this one cut and then we'll just ink them all together. Now remember we got to make a journaling card for that one pocket and then I will see if I can find the rest of the ephemera for this kit because we don't have enough pockets in there or tucks or whatnot. So I'm going to cut that too well. There we go. I'm going to pull this off the table for a minute so it's not so loud into your ears. No, well, that didn't help, did it? It's still loud. Okay, so there's that one. And then get this one. Now this tag I already corner rounded, so that's nice. I just have to trim around it nicely. Mm, didn't get enough glue up here at the edge. There we go. I think that side is lifting too. There we go. So I was on Zillow last night and saw that this little spot of property that I was looking at, somebody put an offer on it. So they beat me to the punch. I was trying to find out if my brother had an opportunity to find it and uh, someone bought it. Oh, missed that one. So we got one more tag to put some paper on. Let's see if I can find some more. Oh, I have this beautiful beet dye paper. I'll use that. So anyway, um, it wasn't as big of a lot as I would have liked, so I guess it's just as well. Um, I just, I know the Lord has a plan 
I just don't know what or when is going to take place. And I'm um, trying to be patient. It is not my strongest point. I have other gifts, but that's not one of them. I used to be more patient than when I was younger than I am now as I've gotten older. But I think that's true for most people. Okay, so now we can go ahead and ink up our edges and then we'll dig for some ribbon and see if we can find that. <clears throat> and then we'll, I love vintage photo. <coughs> and I don't think I'm the only one, that's for sure. I missed a little bit of the paper down here on this edge, so just going to get that off. Yeah, vintage photo is my fave. I used to be into the walnut, but then I started using the vintage photo and said, ooh, I like this better, so we'll punch our hole back in. Nice well punch all of them. And that one I didn't go all the way to the top, so it doesn't need punching. So my goal is, I think I have one, two, three, I've got five more unfinished journals and I'd like to get them finished and posted in my shop. Uh, hopefully by the end of the month, so I have to be diligent with my videos. I just get so caught up in watching YouTube and everybody else crafting, I forget to craft. <laughs> and I, I know that that's a lot of people's shortfalls too. But I've got to get busy. I've got to get through these unfinished ones so I can start some new ones and do some tutorials on those. I uh, really wanting to start working on my mini albums again and getting my daughter's Let's see, she's, shoot, 31, and uh, I haven't finished her baby albums, and I would like her to have those before my time ends on this earth. Not that I'm going soon, but you know how it takes time. Okay. So those are all inked. Now I have some scrap ribbon. I'm gonna just take out that bin. Sorry for my reach across the screen. <clears throat> but of course it's on the bottom of the stack. And this is just scraps. Scraps, scraps, and more scraps. 
so we've got blue, uh, green, blue, rust. Ooh, this is pretty. Orange. We'll do that one. Uh, here's an orange one. We'll take that one out. This is green and orange and yellow polka dot. Uh, as you can see, I like to do a little bit of everything. Here's some sari silk that's orange. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's get started. Um, this big tag is Let's see, this little one, I think we'll use this. <clears throat> and I'm just cutting off some. Gonna tie it around. I just did a loop. And then I like this one on this one. So let's just see. I'm going to do my edges, see if, we can get this through. I'm trying to keep the ribbon straight so when I pull it through everything's facing us but sometimes that is not possible and we have to adjust oh did pretty good so now let's just see if we can get this a little tighter there we go Oh, that's cute. There's that one. So that's two down. One. I think I'm gonna cut these down just a little bit. This one, I think I want to tie a bow with it. If we can. <clears throat> that sometimes is my challenge. I usually try to tie it in a knot first. That helps. Let's see if I have enough. Come on. Oh. Well, no. So let's just leave it in a knot and then open this up a little bit. That works. And then last but not least, this little eyelash trim one. I think if I leave the ends long enough, I could probably tie this one in a bow. I don't know what it would look like, but we'll see. Oh boy, that's interesting. Huh. Okay. I don't know if I can get it, yeah, tight enough.
Well, that's kind of fun. Really? Droopy. <laughs> but it's cute. So we'll save that trim for anything else we make. Okay, so let's see where we want to put these tags. Uh, find our pockets. Okay, this little one went in that little tuck. We'll put this one in our little pocket there. I want to use the big one, I think, in our belly band. Wherever it is. This one, I think we'll put this big one. Just make sure. All right, where is the lace? Oh, we have this pocket too. I think I'm going to put the little notebook with the flower sticking out. Because the button will catch and keep it from going all the way in. All right, belly band, where are you? Thought I was going, oh, it's for the back, there we go. <clears throat> so this one is gonna go right there. Okay, so we have two more pockets that we got to put in. We got to make some tags for this. Our paper clip embellishment for this and then we've got to get a couple of things for our tuck. So that's it for today. I'm going to go ahead and tie it up. And you don't have to use the bow when you close it if you don't want, but the little thing kind of sticks out. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a comment down below if you could. Uh, like this video and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. I hope you have a blessed day and thanks for watching. Bye.